Hey, howdy everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to me and my channel and my stuff. I am playing Skyrim today. I have never played Skyrim, really. I have currently, let me show you. I have 65 minutes on Skyrim. This is... Th that's all I've got. That's all I've got. I know some things about it. I know you get, like, a voice thing. You can say Fus Roda and like you shoot magic or something. Um, I've heard some of the music from it. I know the title theme, obviously. I think everybody who is even any sort of video game adjacent knows that. That's that's obvious. And I in in the hour that I have played this over the years, I have done. I you've, I've no. I did the whole first sequence. There's like a dragon or something, and then you go talk to like the dude of of winterholm or wind winterfell what what is it what's it called whiteholm winter when, no winterfell is game of thrones what's it called <laughs> it's it's something with a w i'm pretty sure and you talk to the dude and he sends you on some quest or something i that that's the extent of my skyrim knowledge i first discovered this game back in like 2012 when i was first starting high school and one of my friends uh I went over to his house and he was like, look at this game that just came out. It's so cool. And I, I show, I saw like him dragging a skeleton across the ground and I was like, or something like that. The skeleton was like underwater and I was like, there's like, like physics in a game because previous to that, all I had had was my Super Nintendo. So I didn't know about game physics. And then, <laughs> and then like after that, I got an Xbox and I started playing some more stuff. And, but yeah, up until like 2011, 2012, I just had a Super Nintendo, so I missed out on a lot of older games, and I'm hoping to do some of those on this channel, but Skyrim's going to be the first one. Let's get into this. I'm excited. I think I'm going to... Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, what in the world is this? Video settings and set for... Yeah, I, I should hope they're on ultra quality. I have a 3080. All right, let's jump in. This is the special edition. This is not the anniversary edition upgrade, because I read that it's useless and I shouldn't buy it. And it's $20, and I'm not going to do that. E yeah, yeah, right here. Whoa, why does the... Why does the mouse feel off? It just feels weird. Alright, I, I, I can't deal with this anymore. I've been spending like a half hour trying to get this fixed. I downloaded like a, a general bug fix mod or something. I, I keep getting an encoder overload thing in OBS. I tested all my settings and they're like pretty low. I don't understand why, but maybe that's why my FPS was dropping when I was playing Elden Ring. Like in the video. Oh my goodness, I'm so sick of this. I just want to play the game. Just start the game. Just, just start the game. Hey, editing Corey here. I noticed while going back and editing this that right after I said this, like when I was messing with all of the encoder settings, I accidentally had them way lower than they were somehow. I don't know exactly what I did, but I fixed it now, but for this entire recording, uh, all of the the settings are a little bit weird. So you might notice some pixeling, some like artifacting, things might get a little fuzzy at times, but it's only during more hectic sections. It looks kind of fine during most of it. So I think you'll be fine. You can deal with it. Plus I fixed it so it'll look perfectly normal in the next episode and in the future. So I hope that doesn't detract from the quality and I'm very sorry. And please leave a like. I love you. Thank you. Goodbye. Back to the video. Never mind. You don't get achievements if, if you have the, the bug fix mod on, apparently. So I guess I'm turning off bug fixes. Goodbye. <sighs> well, we're playing this game fully vanilla. Let's go. Already amazing game. 10 out of 10. Uh, here we go. Hey, you, you're finally awake. It's time. It's really happening. Maybe it's a good thing that I'm playing it with bugs. Maybe it'll make it funnier. 60 frames! Let's go! What's up? Skyrim! Turn this up. It's a legendary moment. I'm actually going to play this game now. 
<laughs> Look at those birds. I'm gonna get so into the lore of this. Just you wait. You. You're finally awake. He said it. Oh my goodness. You oh. trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that imperial ambush. Same as us. Maybe. And that thief over there. Damn you, stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Flaming this guy, jeez. Nice they hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse. White Run. I just remembered the you there. the name of the you thing. You shouldn't be here. It's the stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all I don't know anything about the lore, so. Now, I'm figuring this out. out back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? Is this Ulfric? Rebellion. And they captured you. Oh no, this is oh, Ulfric. What? Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. But it is. Hey, what oh. village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? Ooh, look at the scenery. Should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. Rorikstead, okay. Maybe I'll get there. Good. Let's get this over with. So I remember that, like, you are about to get beheaded and then a dragon comes. I played that part. Divines, please help me. This, this whole, all this lore is going over my head. I'm sure I'm gonna understand some of this later on, but right now I'm pretending none, none of this. <laughs> and it looks like the Thalmor are with them. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. So, what? These guys think I'm an Imperial traitor to the Empire or something? I used to be sweet on a curve. Wonder if he Elegant, is that what she said? Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Dude, the vibes of this game are already incredible. I'm gonna fix my camera in a second. I don't like how it's a little bit not in the corner. We gonna die. Let's go. Oh, I remember you get to you get to make your character after you get off the cart here. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak. Yarl of Windhelm. Man, they're gonna kill the Yarl of Windhelm? I don't know what lore significance that has, but... Wait, what's his name? I missed his name. Can I turn on subtitles? What's the Okay, yeah, the mouse is ridiculous. This is very weird. There we go. I completely missed what his name was, but it's fine. I don't think I want general subtitles. <gasps> oh no, not depth of field. No, sorry. I thought <laughs> depth of field is FOV for a second. Like, oh, I can turn up FOV. No. Hot opacity. Okay, I think, yeah, we'll just, we'll chill with this. No care of Rorik's dead. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Oh, doesn't he get shot or something? <gasps> yeah, I remember. I remember more than I thought I did. Yeah, me, Wait, but I'm not gonna. You there. Step forward. Alright, if you if you say so. Who are you? That's a good question. Okay. Now we get into this. One second. I gotta fix my camera. I think for now I'm just gonna have it stay there. I'm not gonna turn anything on on my TV. I'm moving stuff around in my room. So there's gonna be a whole different setup in a second. Not in a second, but like a week from now, possibly. So we'll see. All right, who should I be? So we got Nord, Khajiit. Oh no, no, thank you. Imperial. Uh, let me like read up on some of the the race. And, like, the, oh ew, ew. Why are they? Can I make 
a not ugly elf. All right, let's see. This looks like the dude I was with. <laughs> uh, Nord. Citizens of Skyrim, they are tall and fair-haired people. Strong and hardy, Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make opponents flee. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Wood Elf. The clan folk of the western Valenwood forests, also known as Bosmer. Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. Tam wait. Tamriel sounds familiar. I, I don't know why. Uh, they have natural resistances to both poisons and diseases. That could be useful. They can command animals to fight for them. Okay. Redguard, the most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel. The Redguards of Hammerfell have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon an adrenaline rush in combat. Kind of cool. Orc, the people of the Rothgarian and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are amongst the finest in the Empire and are fearsome when using the Berserker Rage. Okay. Khajiit, hailing from the province of Elsewhere. Elsewhere? Really? They're intelligent, quick, and agile. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark at will and have unarmed claw attacks. So will picking my thing give me, like, perks? Maybe? Imperial, natives of Cyrod Cyrodiel, Cyrod Cyrodiel, Cyrodil, Cyrodil. <laughs> they have proved to be shrewd diplomats and traders. They are skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a, new, a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. High Elf, also known as Altmer, in their homeland of Somerset Isle. The High Elves are the most strongly gifted of, in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their highborn power to regenerate magicka quickly. That's pretty cool. Get some extra magic. Uh, Dark Elf, also known as Dunmer in their homeland of Morrowind. Ah, that's another Elder Scrolls game. Dark Elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. Interesting. Uh, Brayton. Brayton? In addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the high, humblest, sorry, humblest of High Rocks Bretons can boast a resistance to magic. Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. Argoni- Ew. <laughs> Argoni- <laughs> This reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the hissed skin to regenerate health very quickly. Okay. Alright. I don't know what I want to be. I may just go standard Nord. Just for fun. Just for a first playthrough. Yeah, I think let's do that. Alright. Nord. How, how, to, how, to, how do I select... Up here. Oh, oh, go back. Go back. Go back. Select. Okay, weird. All right. Um, how do I? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'll be a dude. We got some presets. I don't want to spend too long. Kratos. I don't want to spend too long in character creator. So I'm going to go. Let me just, let me just pick a dude. This guy. This guy looks metal. Um. We'll go this guy preset. Um, I don't want to make him too skinny. Let's see, head, complexion. Oh, that's like how much dirt on him. Oh no, this is dirt. I'll make him very fair skinned with no dirt. Maybe one little scar right there. Oh, weird. Interesting. No, he's going to be a very plain milk toast dude. Just standard fantasy guy, you know? Nose type. Can I... Ooh! Oh, oh! That's fun. <laughs> That's an interesting way of doing things. Ooh, I see a little rat on the ground. A little bird in the sky. That's fun. Alright, let's see here. We got no... Ew. Some of these noses are weird looking. Wait, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Oh, it's just like a, here. Th this that's like a normal looking nose, right? Let's just go with that. I'm trying to make this the most generic fantasy dude possible. Nose height. Let's go like um. I don't know. No, that looks weird. Bring it up a little higher. No, now he looks angry. Ah, ah. I don't want to cut. Uh, why am I customizing his nose so much? Just give me like. Sure. Give me, give me that. Give me that. I don't care. All right. Jaw width. This all looks fine though. Skip all that. His eyes look pretty normal. Give him brown eyes because that's that's not actually no. I kind of like these eyes actually. Give some heterochromia. What if we go full white eye? Nope. He's got to be normal. He has to be normal McNormalson. Eye height? I, I really don't care about all this. Uh, brow, mouth, hair, that all looks good. Let me just, hand, just change some hair. The rest of it looks fine. I actually kind of like the longer hair. That's a little too messy. Ew. No thanks. No. No. You don't need to be balding. Ooh, maybe this? That looks kind of cool. I'll consider that. Okay. Interesting. There's some... What in the world is this hairstyle? Okay, okay, alright. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Maybe I stick with this. I kind of like the one braid. Like that. It's like this, but with a, with a braid. I don't know, sure. Yeah, facial hair. Oh, yes. I'm like this. Then make it like... There you go. There. That's a pretty standard looking dude. Can I... Can I name him? How do I... How do I name him? How do I... How do I name him? Can I not name him? Finish... Oh, finish and name your character. Okay. Name my character. I'm gonna name him... Normal Man. There you go. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. To the block, bro. Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain, prisoner. I'm gonna die, y'all. I'm gonna die. All right. At least you will die here in your homeland. I'm assuming that's because I chose Nord. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. Okay, what happened to? Th I hit the. Th oh my goodness! What happened to the subtitles? Do I need to turn on general subtitles as well? Why are there no subtitles? But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this. There we go. Plunge Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. It's a beautiful skybox. There's the dragon. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. <laughs> As you wish. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I think just this guy dies, and then the rest of us get away because the dragon attacks? I think? Perhaps? Do I know? Do I remember? Let's find out. So am I going to... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he, he did say let's get this over with, so he would really wanted it over with, I guess. As fearless in death as he was in life. Raloff, that's his name. Is that me, the Nord in the Rags? Did you hear that? Would that be changed if I was a dis if I was a different race? Yep, they're talking to me. It'd be interesting to do multiple playthroughs and see what's changed if I'm a different race. But I'm just a normal dude right now. 
Ooh, excuse me, got some hiccups. There it is. Oblivion, that's another Elder Scrolls game. We got three of them now, eh? That they've named. One, two, three. Are there, wait, are there like different regions? Like Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, are, are these different regions in the land? There's a lot of explosions happening, bro. I don't know what to do. Ah, ah. Let me run! Oh, pressing shift makes you not run? Okay. Cringe. What's the point of that? Oh, frick, we've escaped! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, pressing C makes you... This is wildly not what I'm used to. Pressing C makes you just, like, auto-sprint, I guess. Here I go. Up to the tower. Oh! I forgot about that part. I'm way too close for that. <laughs> Can we... <laughs> okay. My oh, bro's dead. Can I pickpocket him? I'm assuming this is jump. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay. Right. Woohoo! Oh, I took some damage. I stepped in the fire. How do I get my health back? I need potions or something? Let's go down. Oh! That's fire. I'm gonna stay away from that. Where's the exit? Right here? Okay. There's a massive marker. Can I follow it? There's so much happening, I cannot take this all in. Was that dude? I am away from this dragon. I'm not, not equipped to fight this dude. I don't want to eat. Can I prone or can I just crouch? I may have to change some of my... In fact, give me a second. I'm going to change some of my um, keybinds. Okay, I, th I think we're good now. So this is Crouch. This is what it- Alduin. Who's Alduin? Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, oh. Give me your mo- I didn't follow him quickly enough, apparently. How do I, uh... Get me out of here. I don't want to deal with this dragon. I'm trying to pickpocket these people, and I'm, like, ragdolling. That's a- that's a big dragon, bro. Get me out of here. This is not Elden Ring. I cannot fight that thing at this level. <laughs> Dude, the atmosphere is just so cool. Okay, alright. And the dragon ruined it by just- Oh. Okay, okay. Let's go. Hadavar, help me. Help me. Get me out of here. Oh, lord. Okay. Enter the keep with Hadvar or Rala. Was it? I don't know. Keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, help me out. That would be useful. There you go. Take Ooh, a look around. Thank you. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. All right. Ah, oh, dude, I'm getting so nostalgic for see if one of these older games. This gives me some amnesia vibes. What do we got? Light helmet, some gold. Okay, all right, that's fun. What's in here? You took everything? I j I heard you say that, my dude. How do I... Items, apparel, give me a helmet. Sure, let's go with that. So how do I... Aha, uh -huh, there's the third person. Not sure if I'll like third person. A warden's chest. Light boot. Ooh, I got a key. That's cool. Let's, um... What do I have? Tunic. Uh, give me the armor. Plus seven armor rating. That's cool. I got a sword as well. Press R to ready your weapon. Okay, we got a block. We got a. We got a heavy. We got a few light attacks. We got a heavy into a. Your stamina is low. Oh. Wow, that stamina regenerates slowly. Okay, this is pretty intuitive actually. I'm gonna take a second sword. Can I dual wield? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Whoa, I think my mouse is bugging out. My mouse just does that sometimes. Come on, this way. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, look at these. Look at the look at these 2011 textures. Actually, this is a special edition, so it's like, you know what? I'm gonna hoard all these. Oh wait, everything has carry weight. 
I won't be able to hoard all these. Why is my mouse... Okay, I need to plug my mouse in. It just does this sometimes, and I have to plug it in to fix that issue. I don't know why. Okay. Let's keep going. Hey, 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 whoa. Hey, chill. Chill, bro. How do I... Got him. From behind. Oh. Those backstab animations? That's pretty sick. <laughs> nice. What do you got on you, bro? What do you got on you? I'll take those. I will take that, sure. What do we got here? Uh, I'll take your gauntlets. And ooh, and a shield. Okay, sick. That's cool. Uh, give me the warhammer. Wait, where's the shield? Oh, I can do that. Okay. Wait, but is this... This is a two-handed weapon, though. Hmm. So I can do... Can I read about this? Is there no lore in the... <laughs> is there no lore in item descriptions? I'm too... From Softified. What else we got? Give me give me some stuff. What do you got on you, dude? Nothing of importance. I want a broom though, my guy. I'm gonna carry this broom to the end of the earth with me. Give me some tankard, tankard, lantern. Uh sure, let's go. Come on, this way. Oh <gasps> my cabbages. <laughs> I am one hundred percent gonna collect every cabbage in this entire game. I I have to. I I'm just sorry, bro. What do we got? Sack of flour. Okay, I should learn to just hit the take all button, but that's fine. I'll take the kettle, sure. Until I run out of stuff. What's my weight looking like? How do I view that? Oh, seventy six. All right. Until I can't, I'm gonna. I'm too to block. Am I you need to have combat? Bam! Come here. There we go. Beat him in the blocked. Get blocked. Bam! Why am I like. Why does it feel like I can't move when I'm doing a heavy? I don't know. Combat feels weird. I'm going to have to, I have to get used to it. Can I, I... Oh, did I take their stuff? But not their... Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, that's... I have an iron warhammer. Nothing of importance. Nothing of importance. Okay. I will take your basket. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sirs. I'm taking your basket. Aha. Take that. Bro. <laughs> what is that neck? <laughs> What is that neckline, my dude? Oh my lo- What in the- Excuse me? I've never seen a neck like that before. What is your neck? Can I carry you? Come here. That's what I thought. So, I wonder- How, how can I do different kinds of attack? I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out as I go. <gasps> Well, I am a hoarder, so give it all, give it all, give it all. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. <gasps> there we go. I have to hold down E. Sorry. My nose itches. I'm not picking my nose. Ooh, can I, can I rotate this? How do you, how do you, that's not what I wanted to do. Eh. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> give me the wine. I'm so... Intrigued by ooh, a potion and a pot and salt pile. Gimme, 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 gimme. <gasps> money. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought that marker was money sitting on the shelf, like a rupee or something. <gasps> ooh, speaking of money, I'll take that. Thank you. What's in the lower cupboard? I said, what's in the lower cupboard? 
Okay, it's it counts as one. That's fine. <gasps> I missed one. My pot collector. Give me all the pots. Anyway, we continue. Oh. Oh, sick. Some potions. That's useful. Give me your basket, please. Gimme, give gimme. Give Anything else? I want more things. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give <gasps> Some eggs. Can I hatch those? Can you, like... Can you, like, hatch dragon eggs? Can I get some egg... Look. 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 Done, then. Hadvar, I'm... I'm sorry, okay? I... I see things, I just... Just have to take them. You know? You feel me? I see... I see things... I need them. I see it, I like it. I want it, I got it. Who are we killing? Who are we killing? I don't know. I don't know who's what. The blue ones? Yes. Okay. Wow, that was unfair. Oh, I didn't want to take... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now she's indecent. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And now I'm cancelled. I'm gonna go hide in the corner. If I... Look, if I decide here, the dragons can't see me. Do I have a point? Don't make up nonsense. <laughs> You hear like the 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 oppressive the ground literally crunching down underneath this dude and he's like a dragon. There's no dragon there. What are you talking about? I need live picks, are you kidding me? Can I just reach in there and just can I just lost the key ages ago? Lost the key ages ago. See if you can get it open with some picks. We'll need everything we can get. I unplugged my mouse. Because it was annoying me. <gasps> Book of the Dragonborn. The Book of the Dragonborn by Briar Emmeline Madrine, Order of Talus, Wainan Priory, Year 360 of the Third Era, 21st of the Reign of His Majesty. Is that a P? Yes. Pelagius the Fourth. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the dragonborn emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts, and in this book, I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as dragonborn down through the ages. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the covenant of Akatosh when the blessed Saint Alessa Alessia, sorry, was given the amulet of kings, and the dragon fires in the Temple of the One were first lit. I understand none of that. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart, and blessed Saint Alessia with this blood of dragons, and made a covenant that so long as Alessia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies. The Daedra-loving Aelids, I don't know. <clears throat> Those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood became known more simply as Dragonborn. Oh my goodness, it keeps going. What in the world is this? Okay, skip this if you don't, if you don't care about this lore, but I want to know about this and learn about the history and stuff, so... Here we go. The connection with the rulers of the Empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings and light the dragon fires. Aren't we the dragonborn? Isn't my character dragonborn? I don't know. All the legitimate rulers of the Empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first cryodilic empire Cyrodilic, not cryo, sorry. Cry, cry. This is the thing I, I was, I was tripping up over this word last time too. <laughs> Cyrodilic Empire, founded by Alessia, Raymond Cyrodil and his heirs, and of course Tiber Septim and his heirs, down to our current emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim the Fourth. Okay, so that's the current king of the empire who is trying to kill me and my companions right now. 
Because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the blessed Talos, who was Tiber Septim. What is Tiber Septim? I don't understand. Or who is Tiber Septim? I don't know. <coughs> Uh, very few realize that being a dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity. Being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things? Or was the doing of the sign... Or was the doing the sign of the blessing of... Akatosh descending upon them. <laughs> All that we can say is that it is both and neither a divine mystery. I, I literally, huh? What is happening here? The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace. But we know for certain that the early Cyrodelic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that the Raymond Cyril was descended from Alessia, although there are many legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the time of Raymond and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the Blades, usually thought of as the Emperor's bodyguards, originated in Akaviri Crusaders who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late First Era. They appear to have been searching for a dragonborn. The events at Pale Pass bear this out, the Akaviri were the first to proclaim Raymond Cyrodiil as Dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akaviri who did... No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that right, Akaviri, yeah. Who did the most to promote his standing as Emperor. Although Raymond himself never took that title in his lifetime. And, of course, there is no known hereditary connection between Tiber Septim and any of the previous Dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. So what I'm getting is, the Dragonborn is this except maybe it isn't, and we don't know. Deal with it. That's what I'm getting from this book so far. Whether there can be more than one dragonborn at any time is another- Yeah, they really know nothing about this. I don't know why they're writing a whole book about it if they have no clue what a dragonborn is. Whether there can be more than one dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion, but of course the imperial succession itself means that at the very least there are two or more potential dragonborn at any time, the current ruler and his or her heirs. Always two there are, no more, no less, okay. The history of the blades also hints at this, although little is known of their activities during the interregnum between Raymond's empire and the rise of Tiber Septim. My brain is kind of like fried reading all this. Many believe that the Blades continued to search out and guard those they believed were, or might be, Dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being Dragonborn. We don't know. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten. In these days, when dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days, being Dragonborn meant having the dragon's blood. Some scholars believe that it was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were dragon slayers, able to steal the power of the dragons they killed. Isn't that what my character does, I think, from the little knowledge I know of this game? I don't know. Indeed, it is well known that the Akaviri sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion, and there is some evidence that this continued after they became Raymond Cyrodiil's dragon guard. Again, the connection to dragons. The direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with what is known as the prophecy of the dragonborn. It often said to originate in an elder scroll. That's the name of the series. Although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akaviri, many have attempted to decipher it and many have also believed that its omens had been fulfilled and that the advent of the last dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh gifts to mortal kind has yet to be fully understood. I wonder if I will fully understand it. What if that's what this game is about? When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice-blessed fail and the red tower trembles, 
when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls when the snow tower lies sundered kingless bleeding the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn okay that was a lot but that was incredibly sick and i am 100 percent on board for this super excited Cannot wait to get into more of this. I wonder if I am going to be the last Dragonborn or something. We'll find out. Alright. Now how do I do this? Okay. Use mouse to rotate the lock pick. W to rotate the lock. Closer the pick is to the correct position. The more the lock will rotate before the pick breaks. Only what is in... Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So like... Oh. Wow. Got it. Easy. First try. Alright, what do we got here? Some gold. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who are you, sir? Take your potion and your things and your your things and your... I'll, I'll leave you your clothes. Spell tome. What in the world is this? Miscellaneous, would that be here? No. What? Oh, books. Here we go. <clears throat> Spell tome. Sparks. Lightning that does eight points of shock damage to health and magicka per second. Okay. Um, I can do... No, I don't want to read this again. No, get out of here, please. <laughs> don't make me read it again. All right, I can do magic now, apparently. That's cool. Uh, nothing in that cage. Anything here worth grabbing? No. All right. Let's keep going. Wait, why is... Why is the marker showing this way? I already got the... The thing. Oh. Ah, of course. What are you talking about? I'm just... I'm walking out. Is he... Are you talking to your skeleton friend? Have you been here for so long that you... Forgot that he's dead? I think Bro's a little senile. Leave me to my work. Unless you plan to stay in hell. Your work? What are you... You know what? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Goodbye. I'm leaving. And I will not be returning. Thank you. I don't think there's anything worth getting in there. <gasps> there's a thing. There's a thing in there. Uh, here. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so good. Let's go. Nine gold. That was worth it. I don't know if any of that came through. Skeleton. Where were you storing that gold, sir? I presume you're dead? You know what? You don't even get that. Take your clothes. That's what you get. You deserve to be utterly humiliated. That's you in about three weeks, buddy. How long does a human body take to decompose? You know what? Let me look that up real quick. I jest. I'm not going to do that. Gold. Shut up. I'm exploring. Give me a second. God, it's a problem. These skeletons have gold on them somehow, somewhere. Well, you know, dude, at least you, you missed the whole dragon attack, so you should actually be glad that you're dead. Who are you? A torturer's assistant. You don't have a name. <gasps> What is that? Haircut. Goodbye. Goodbye. No thank you, sir. Yeah? How about I stick this hammer into your face? Are you gonna walk? Hadvar, what are we doing? Okay. Okay. Oh, isn't there supposed to be like a, like, isn't there a spider or something down here? That you have to fight? Oh boy, oh boy, we got the... Who am I killing? These guys. Oh, no, don't kill Hadvar. Don't kill Hadvar. I'm sorry. Here you go. Why are you blocking? Can I... Can I get... Give me those legs. Give me those legs, bro. Give me your face. Um, that's what I thought. And then we teabag, and then we teabag, and then I... I don't know what just happened there. Give me your stuff. 
I'll take your arrows. You can have your clothes. Why don't you have your decency? Thanks for the arrow. Can I have a bow? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, why did? He, how did he die? I thought he was. Oh, it's haircut, dude. What happened to haircut? I thought he was way back here. How did he? How did he get here? Oh my goodness! I don't. Where didn't? Where's the bow? Didn't somebody have a bow? I'm so confused. I don't even know. How do you? What? Whoa. That's interesting. I feel like I'm playing an MMO. Look, I'm playing Resident Evil. I mean... How do you go back? There we go. That's the end of that. All right. Sorry I didn't help one bit, Hadvar. Uh, but I'm going to steal this. There's the bow. There we go. Give me that. Yes, please. Yes, please. More arrows. I don't need a second bow, do I? How do I... How do I... How, do, how, do, how does one switch items? Longbow? L R, oh left right. <sighs> Isn't there like a quick menu? Isn't there like a like like a like a like a favorites or something? That's not what I wanted. All right, give me a second. I need to check. He not here. Controls. Auto move. Wait. Oh here, quick inventory. Quick magic, quick stack, quick, quick inventory. I think I want it to be. Is Q bound to anything? Favorites. Oh, it is. I just don't. Oh. Okay. So what if I do? Oh, favorite. Favorite. I. I'm hitting favorite. It's not working. Have I not learned how to do favorites yet? I probably haven't learned how to do it. Let's see where this goes. Uh yes, let's. Considering that's the only ah a lever, I'll hit it. Uh, dude, out of the way! Oh, <gasps> look at, dude! I will always be a sucker for light coming in through cave ceilings like this. Doesn't matter how low res these textures are, dude. I am always gonna look at this. Wow, <laughs> I'm literally getting chills from. A 2011 texture of a light coming through it. Man. This game looks so cool. Well, I'm glad I didn't... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gl I stuck around there way longer than I should've. I'm glad it didn't hit me. Thank you, your scripted falling event. That's exciting. Oh. What's this? Is this... This isn't the way out, right? Well, I'm always taking the side areas, you know me. What's up this way? Aha, uh -huh, a skelly boy. Give me a potion. What you got on you? Nice. Some things. I will take that. I'll take your coin purse, and I'll take your lantern. I said I'll take your lan- I can't take your lantern. Okay. That's fine. Can I- Can I crawl? Okay, never mind. I can't. That was worth a shot. Where's Hadvar? Let's keep moving. There he is. He's waiting on me. He's like, this idiot is going to go pickpocket skeletons. Ooh, more money. Yeah, well, joke's on him. I'm rich, so. Wow, really? The one exit to this cave we should try? Oh, here's where the spiders come. I do remember the spiders. Look at him. Good thing I'm not arachnophobic or anything. Ah! Come here. Come here, you little pest. Come here. That's what I think. Here's what I think of you. Take that. Absolute... Coward, take that. Oh, I missed. I missed, and I'm out of stamina. Oh, help. 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 Thank you for that, Hadvar. But okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Was not expecting that, but that's cool. What do you got on you? Venom? Venom. I'll take your venom. Frostbite venom, frostbite venom. I think that's it. I'll take some spider eggs. Can I, like, get it? Wait. 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 Oh, that's the egg sack. Okay. I thought I could search that skeleton. Uh, I'm gonna take some spider eggs, and I'm going to bring them home. I'm sorry? Yeah, spiders don't care about money. Money's for me. 
going to take all of their young and I'm going to raise them and then promptly murder them. Are you kidding me? I can't get... Okay. E skeever tail. What in the world is a skeever? Is that a skeever? I can't even see what that is. I can't even tell. Again, dude. Again, light coming through the... Wow, is that a... What did I take... What did I take damage from? I stepped on a spider corpse? You know what? Take that. Again, look at the... Subtle glare effect. <laughs> Why is that so bright? That's not even direct sunlight. That's a reflection off the... Off of rock. That's kind of insane. Can I... Uh, uh, you can't do jump attacks in this game? Boring. What's up here? More eggs. More eggs. More eggs. Uh, Skelly boy. I don't need the iron maze. Let's go. Let's keep going. Thank you. This is the way. Dude, why do the environments look so good? I mean, I shouldn't question it. Like, good art direction takes precedent over graphics any day, but still. Yeah, I'll take a dagger, sure. Oh, we're sneaking around the bear. You can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Pickpocket you, bro. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. No, I'm gonna avoid combat, thank you very much. Although I will take some mead and the lantern and the wine and the coin purse. 32 gold. How much gold do I have? 116 gold already, bro. I just started this game. I don't know how much things cost. I don't know what the inflation is in this economy, but I think I'm pretty well off for being 50 minutes into recording. 50 minutes on my second recording after spending like a half hour trying to... You're staring right at me, bro. I know you saw me. Must have been the wind looking bear. Oh. Oh, the god rays. And the light comes down at... I took a step. Why did that ribcage go flying? Press C to start sneaking. I've literally been sneaking for the pet. Yo, okay. The physics might be a little bit broken in this game. I'm simply just sneaking. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. So can I... I, I kind of like this, actually. I kind of like the third person. I probably won't do it all third person, but the third person's kind of cool. This looks like the way Bro, we look identical, literally. Game. Maybe because I'm a Nord? Nah, back to first person. To Skyrim. Survival mode. Survival adds the need to eat, sleep, and stay warm. It also adds additional challenges such as no fast travel, reduce carry weight, leveling up only when you sleep. Uh, is this... A thing I should do? No, I think I'm just gonna play the game. So no. Sorry, my sister came in my room and I missed all of that. Uh, he's he's leaving me. That's that's all I know. I don't know what else happened. I'm gonna have to figure that out in post. Okay. Well, <laughs> look at this. Dude, I. Why does this game look so good? I mean, I know, I know this is the special edition that has like upgraded graphics and stuff. Oh, the music, and it's gone. Come back, music. All right. Well, I'm gonna take some snowberries. Okay, that makes sense. Select any location and discover to fast travel to it. Alright, uh, I will not be fast traveling as much as possible. Talk to Alvor in Riverwood. So that's my first location. Uh, whoa, I am... That was weird. Can I delete... Wait, how does one delete... Wait. Oh, remove it. There we go. Alright. Sorry, OBS was scrolling as I was scrolling through the map. 
and it's doing it again. All right, that's very strange. I don't know what that. I don't know what the deal is there. Oh my goodness, this map is massive. Okay, wait, no, never mind. It's not as big as I thought it was. That's still pretty big, though. But it feels less. Big, although, oh, oh, hmm. Although I don't know, like some of these towns are. Maybe this is, like, a really big area, but it's just way zoomed out? I don't know. Falk Wreath. Helgen. Yep, that was the town I just came from. I remember that from the cutscene. So, head to Riverwood is my current objective. White Run is here. I remember going there. Morthal. Solitude. Dunstar. Who was this? Winterhold. Ooh, that sounds cool. Windhelm. Riften. I think that's all the places. Can I climb to the top of the mountain here and jump off? I like the 3D map. That's really neat. Oh. Markar Markarth. Markarth? Alright, well. <clears throat> I'm just gonna figure this out as I go. I think for now, I'm just going to follow the main story, and we'll see. I thought you were leaving, Hadvar. Why, why are you following me still? I think for now, I'm just going to follow the main story, and we'll go from there. Bro, I thought you said you were leaving. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Okay. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I mean, you seem to do just fine in combat on your own. Alright, I don't know why you're waiting for me, like you're expecting me to follow you. You just said we should split up. I'm gonna stick to the road. Just for fun. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> is there a photo mode in this or something? Is there like... Is there a button you can like... I mean, probably not. Because this game is like almost 15 years old now, but... Okay, I just looked it up. Apparently, if you type TFC1, not found. Hello? Remove the, can remove, oh, oh, remove the one if you don't want everything to freeze. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, can I... Ooh. How does one go... Uh, ooh, there we go. Wow. How do I remove the UI? Okay, TM is HUD gone. There we go. <sighs> wow. Wow, dude, look at this game. This is one of the most beautiful looking games I think I've ever seen. My goodness. You step out into this world and you just... You see like that? That's... Look at Hadvar just chilling. Bro's just here. Bro's just minding his own business. I'm going to be using this a lot to just see things. I'm not going to use it to, like, spoil myself, but just, like... Oh, spoiler, 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 stay down low, stay down low. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, back to it. TM. TFC. One. Flight camera is off. Okay. There we go. And we're back to normal. Cool, I'm going to be using those commands a bunch to just see things and take pictures of things. But wow, this is crazy. So can I do that in cutscenes too? I'm assuming, because they're real-time cutscenes. My dude, leave! What is his deal? <laughs> How can I favorite things? It's not letting me favorite things. Favorite. Drop. I switched F and Z, so it's... Hold on, game press Q to open the favorites menu. Okay. Yeah. I switched F and Z. So F is... Now, there we go. Okay, got it. So it says F, but it's actually Z. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The music. Turn this up. This is heavenly. 
so I can... Ah, I see. And then I can pull up the Warhammer. That's really cool. <laughs> I am so in love with this game already. I can't... I don't know what I'm trying to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, music, come back, 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 come back. Crank that. Soldier boy. Oh my goodness, the sun through the trees. Oh, it's almost nighttime. I better get to... Where am I going? Riverwood. I almost said River Run. That's White Run. I thought we were breaking up. Do I have to kill you? Advar, be on your merry way. Go, before I do something drastic. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this issue? I'm gonna headshot you, dude. Come here. Yeah, keep walking. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. How do I get there? I want to stay on the path. I don't. I don't want to get off the path if I can help it. <laughs> At least for now. Oh my goodness, the sunset with a <laughs> sunset. Through the tree. Look at that. Why have I not played this game before? This is so magical. Alright, we got Helgen that way. That's where it came from. Hawkwreath that way. I don't need to go there. Riverwood this way. That's where I'm headed. I thought we were parting ways. Are you talking about once we get to River Run? Not River One. What, what's Riverwood? Riverwood. Sorry. <laughs> is he talking about that? Is he saying once we get there, then we're going to part ways? Possibly. Wow. What is that? Is that White Run I'm looking at? Get that out of here. No, that's not White Run. What, what is this? I don't know what that is. It's a Draugr hideout. I feel like he just told me and I wasn't listening. <laughs> okay, I think I am supposed to follow him. Oh my goodness, dude. What in the world is this? Like, for real, what is this? Can I... Hello? There we go. Oh, because it, it got rid of the HUD, but then the... Oh, what in the world is this game? That's so beautiful. Menus off. You see fly cameras off. There we go. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Ooh, does that show up on the map now? It does. Three of Sick. Ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. The thief stone, the mage stone, the warrior stone. Oh, those under the sign of the warrior will learn all combat skills twenty percent faster. That could be cool. What are the other ones? Learn all magic skills twenty percent faster. Stealth skills twenty percent faster. Well. I am a, <gasps> I am a melee kind of dude, through and through. So I'm gonna go, combat skills. Good. I got an achievement. What's happening here? Are we throwing up a beacon to draw all the enemies towards us? I thought you were trying to hide. I thought the Empire was after our guts. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, thank you. Plant a thistle. I love getting some thistles, you know? <gasps> Another thistle? Gimme. Alright, well, since you insist on tagging along, then let's keep going. I want to know what that is. That looks vaguely Viking-like. <clears throat> Mountain flower. Another thistle. This music, dude. This music. Alright, my carry weight is fine. I can grab as many flowers as I want. Thistle. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, 
just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers. Got it. That makes sense. Wow. Wow, look at the tree. The shadows through the tree. <laughs> Mountain flower. Another flower. Mushroom. Mora Tapanella. I like mushrooms. The water. Oh, it's so magical. Huh? I don't even know what he's talking about. That. Get, click. I'm clicking. It's not. Swing your stupid mace, bro. Oh, that was a bit too late with that blow. Sorry, what the wolf got? Pelt? Can I sell the pelts for cash money? More mountain flowers. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to river. I mean you didn't give me much of a choice. <clears throat> Flower, 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 blue mountain flowers, other mountain flowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Man, this whole game is so beautiful. <gasps> flowers. Purple mountain flowers. Oh. Oh. There's more. Ah, is this Riverwood? What a cute little town. Oh, now you want to storm on ahead like you own the place, okay. This is so quaint. <gasps> A chicken. Okay, the music is great. But I also need to hear the voices. So, I'm going to turn those up. And I'm going to turn down the rest a little bit. Sure. I want to hear the voices most, but I also want to hear the music. What happened to you, boy? Shh, Are you in Uncle, some kind of problem? Keep your voice down. Skyrim shuffle. Skyrim shuffle. What's going on? And who's this? I am He's normal man. My life, in fact. It's Come a Gravity on, Falls reference, by the way. I didn't explain sign. that. <laughs> okay, okay. Come and Sigrid will get you something. Sigrid? Like the Valkyrie? God of War, like. What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the. Oh no, that was Sigrun. Sorry. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mom. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do. Oh, they're talking. I thought it was somebody over here for some reason. Because I was facing directly 180 degrees away, and it sounded like. I mean, I believe you. I I saw the dragon. Alvor and Sigrid's house. Sigrid, we have company. Are you Sigrid? No, that's Dorothy. Or is it Dorth? Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Oh, thank you. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here? Can I steal your like cabbage? You lost an argument with a cave bear. I don't know where to stop. <laughs> you know I was assigned to General Tullius' skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? <laughs> Stupid helmet looks so bad on me. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. That's me. I need to get back to the helpful man. To know what's happened. The helpful normal man. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. No, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Can I, like I said, steal your cabbage? I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. 
Wait, what? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Huh? Okay, whatever. Uh, do you have any supplies I could take? Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Is one cabbage within reason? Can I take your cabbage? That's really all I want, it's just the cabbage. Alright, well fine, I'll take the... I'll take that, sure. Take some healing potions, I'll take a lockpick, I'll take an iron ingot, I'll take some food... Some mead, some cheese... I mean, well, if you're just giving all this to me, I guess I'll take it, sure. Thanks. Uh, what can you tell me about Riverwood? I'd like to know about the place. Who's Gerder? There we go. Sounds like a simple life. What do you think about the war? Just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Mm, fair, I guess. I don't know why you wanted to behead the dude, though. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Well, he did start a war, I suppose. Join the Imperial Legion? I know next to nothing about these sides here. I don't want to take a side, bro. Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? No, I don't, when actually. I, I just woke up and remember nothing. To outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about him. Mm. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. I don't, so I probably won't. Rhinestone will improve your <laughs> weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Ah, oh, sick, okay. If cool. you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Cool, cool. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgruf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. The music! So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid <sighs> to the last. music. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. I mean, am I missing something, or did the Empire try to kill all these people and drag them out and murder them in the night just because they're worshipping Talos? I mean, I don't know who Talos is, but we'll see. Uh, you support the Empire, then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Okay. Uh, who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Oh, murdered? Murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. Who's That's Rodan? what started this whole war. Okay, Empire that makes sense, yeah. That. Once the Yarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Alright, <clears throat> so it seems like this war is stupid. How do I get to White Run from here? I mean, it's straight north, isn't it? I just saw it on the map. Cross the river and then head north. You'll Told you. See it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Interesting. Okay. Hadfar, did right. you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? 
Um, I'm going to take your, your cabbage because he's letting me. <gasps> Let's go, W Cabbage Thief. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Hello, Dorothy. Did you really see a dragon? <laughs> Why are you leaning like that? <laughs> yes, I did. Papa it was pretty cool. Too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. Yeah, you want to cross me? You want to cross me? Come here. Come here. Try that again. My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I mean apprentice. Ugly kid. Okay, where is the forge? Is that outside, I'm assuming, where he was at when we first walked up here? Uh, what do you got in your chest? Can I do? Hadvar, um, can I? I mean, it's not, it's not red, so I'll start with the potion. Okay. No one saw anything. Who just... Who just sniffed right next to my ear? There's a ghost over here. Lockpick? Gold? Hadvar, Hadvar, Hadvar. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Why are you sticking your foot in the soup, my dude? <laughs> Can I take your... I mean, if they're not objecting to it, then let's see. The Gentleman's Guide to Whiterun by Michael the Bard. Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide. Within these pages, I, your humble author and guide, will describe to you the great city of White <coughs> excuse me, of Whiterun, the jewel of the north. Whiterun offers numerous diversions for the man in search of adventure, fortune, and companionship whether for a night or for a lifetime. The city is graced with not one, but two worthy taverns, and there are maids and welters plenty. The city is located rather centrally in Skyrim, and this is well, for it is not far from anywhere. Perched high upon a rocky hill, White Run dominates the grassy plains that surround it. High wooden walls protect its denizens from the wolves, mammoths, mammoths, bandits, and other dangers. <laughs> Lurking beyond. <laughs> okay. Well, when you first enter through the city's main gate, you will find yourself in the Plains District. This is so named because it is the lowest of the city's three neighborhoods. Does make sense? Ah, but here can be found the Bannered Mare, which I count among the finest taverns in all Skyrim. The scenery within is quite compelling if you have an eye for the fairer sex. That sounds fun. I'll check that out. A stout lass named Holder. Stout last named Holda. Normal man. Holda. Mrs. Holda normal man sounds good to me. I don't know. Don't let that stony Nord exterior fool you, for she is possessed of that same fiery passion that all Nord women try so hard to conceal. <clears throat> Sadia, the barmaid, is an exotic red god beauty. She is quite mysterious, and your humble author is determined to learn her secrets. Not if I do first. Outside the bannered mare is a modest marketplace, and here is where I found true love. Though I would never deter a fellow hunting hound from the chase, for indeed why should I author these tomes if not to provide guidance in this very matter? I must ask that you do me this one kindness. Her name is Carlotta Valentia, and she is a magnificent beauty who makes a modest living selling bread and produce by the, in the daylight hours. By the gods, I will make that feisty beauty mine some day. And, of course, there are other services to be found in the Plains District. Belithor's General Goods offers various and sundry wares for the adventurous traveller, and Arcadia's Cauldron offers what tonics and herbs one would expect from an apothecary's shop. Arcadia herself, named after Arcadia the Dragonborn-associated thing that I read in the other book, uh, I assume, <clears throat> is an amiable sort. Is this the Arcadia? Am I going crazy here? Whatever, I don't know. Anyway, she's an amiable sort. <clears throat> amiable? I don't know. I often visit her to make conversation, as she is a fellow Imperial far from home. She is, however, a bit old for my taste. 
A gentleman of advanced years might find in her a worthy companion. Should you need your blade sharpened or your armor hammered, War Maidens offers smithing services very near the main gate. The smith is a pretty nord named Adrian Venici, but she is married to a great hulking brute named Ulfberth Warbear. I'm not going to mess with that. Adrian is quite fair, but I should not want to find myself being introduced to the keen edge of that husband's war axe. If married ladies are your preferred sport, no thanks, then have at, but don't say that you weren't warned. Near to the smith is the drunken huntsman. Here, some of the wealthier gentlemen gather to share both drink and rumors of the wide world. If you prefer a more distinguished class of company while you sip fine wine, you'll be well at home here. That sounds like a good place for a normal man to show his face. Bars. Of the wind district, I have little to say. Most of the buildings in the second tier of the city are residences, though there is also a temple of... Kynareth. Is that a K? Temple of Ky or, or is it Rhinareth? I have no idea. Anyway, <clears throat> Temple of Kynareth and Yorvaska, the Mead Hall of the Companions. There are some intriguing prospects to be found in the Mead Hall, should you favor a strong and fearless warrior woman. You will find little game at the temple, however. The priestess, Danica Pure Spring, is interested almost exclusively in the spiritual matters. At last we come to the Cloud District, exclusive domain of the Yars Castle. I have had some merry adventures within the stone walls of Dragon's Reach, let me tell you. The serving girls are most easily impressed by a well-spoken Imperial. After all, the knights in Skyrim do grow quite cold, if you take my meaning. And I will not deny that I have visited the town's jail once or twice, which can be found in the lower levels of the palace. As for the Jarl and his court, take pains to avoid them. I was just told to go there, though. I find that they lack any sense of humor or appreciation for the imperial culture. Besides which, there are wealthy men, and so must be viewed as your most serious competition. These lords are simple folk, after all, and too easily swayed by the sight of fine clothes and a purse full of septums. Now I will conclude this work by wishing you a great success in your pursuits of women and wine. Spare a moment in your revels to think of me, your humble author, and the risks I have taken to bring you this most thorough report on all thing of interest to the discerning gentleman in the grand city of Whiterun. Ah, but I will not lie and say that that then say that it was all a hardship. After all, who could want to sleep alone in such a cold and hard land as this? Not I. All right, buddy. What was your name? I'm going to remember you, dude. I'll remember you as I check out this hut. Michael the Bard, of course. Of course, of course. A wonderful tale of... Steal your shoes, bro. A wonderful tale of... Whoa, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Sprinting is fast indoors. Wonderful it's tale nice of the... Back in a friendly spot, huh? I literally can't finish my sentence. Dude, shut Listen, up, please. I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend okay. heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there, you can take a carriage to solitude. Okay, where is solitude specifically? Uh, that's like over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm learning. What's down here? Hello, Dorothy. Can I um? Yes, this is like the second time you've asked me, girl. Why do you? Why does she look like um? Uh, what's her name? Okay, she's just repeating voice lines. What's what's her name? The uh, Greta Van Fleet? No, what's what's her name? The you know who I'm talking about, right? The 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 girl, the like climate change activist girl. Her. What's her name? Greta something, I'm, I, th I think, I'm forgetting. My goodness, this music, what? My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. <laughs> What's in your wardrobe? Some boots, boring. Someday. What's in this chest? Money? I'm taking money. Thank you. Ooh, a torch. That could be good to have, actually. Huh. I'll take that, I'll take that. Going to forge my own sword. Someday, 
Sure you are. Why'd you say that twice? Why'd you say you want to get beat, girl? Papa says I'm not ready for weapons, so I make lots of salt. That's really cool. I don't care. Um, get me out of here. What are you doing that for? Doing what? Make yourself at home. Shut up. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Why is everyone so offended? <laughs> I don't. What do you think about the war, separate of your husband? I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. Bear. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. Okay, how do I get to right white run from here? I mean, she's pregnant. So just follow the road north. Yeah. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, like buffoon, left, do you not see it straight up north gates. on the map? It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. That's cool. Uh, I don't care. Can I? Right, then. What else can I get for free? Literally, I'm gonna go insane. I I need to leave. I'm I can't explore here anymore. This girl's gonna drive me insane. I'm going uh, bye 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 goodbye. My girl likes to work the forge with her papa. <laughs> Why is she here? Why is she here? <laughs> Why did I walk out the door? Why is she just in front of me? I'm going insane. Hello. Okay. Use workbenches to improve armor. All improvements require materials. The amount of improvement depends on your smithing skill. I don't have anything to be able to do any of this. Let me leave. What else we got? Blacksmith Forge. You should create new weapons and armor from raw materials. Okay. I don't have enough for any of the... Oh! Nice. I can make a door hinge. Perfect. No. What, why would I want to... What in the world? Why would I want to make a door hinge? Can you like, can you like just straight up like build a house? Like door hinges and nails and, 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 and all? Like literally bare bones build a house? Okay, well, I can't do anything here. What's the tanning rack for? My clothes. Turn animal hides to leather and cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. Can't do anything here? Cool. That's fine. Bye. Okay. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Cabbages. <laughs> my cabbages. Take what you need, my friend. Within re May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Thank you. All right, so I think head to Whiterun is the next. Yep, I gotta talk to the Arl. That's my next quest. Let's go do that. I kind of want to explore out right here a little bit, though. Battle. I'll take your apples. Thank you. What you got? More apples? Thank you. Everyone's gone. I can take the buckets. And the communal buckets are anybody's, right? Y'all got. Oh, what did I? I don't, I don't know. I just grabbed. I didn't look. I love communal buckets. Yay! <laughs> Give me all the communal buckets. <laughs> Everyone's inside sleeping, so I'm just gonna take everybody's things. Thank you for the apple. Zzz. There's two of them. My goodness, this is beautiful. If I could... Oh! Cabbages! Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's heaven. It's heaven. It's cabbage heaven. How many cabbages do I have now? <laughs> I have 18 cabbages. That's not enough. I need all of the cabbages. Ooh, some leeks. Sorry to whoever... And some potatoes. Sorry to whoever's farm this is. Um, but actually, I think I need this more than you. So I would say that that was fairly taken. Okay, actually, for real, give me a second here. Look at this little town. Look at this quaint little... Wow. That's so beautiful. I told you I'm gonna be doing that a bunch. I'm just in awe of how... incredible this game looks. And I cannot believe... that I haven't played this earlier. Like, legitimately, what is wrong with me? 
I saw a few screenshots from this game and it looked like gray, 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 snow, gray, gray, snow. That's all I thought this game was. I didn't even know it had color. This is kind of insane. And the music, the music alone is insane. And y'all know me, I'm all about music. I mean, so my whole channel is built on, so. Wow. Ugh. Does it get more quaint than- that's a moose. Look at this little- this little moose over here. He's just vibing. Hi. Hi. Okay. Does it get more quaint than this, though? Look at this little bridge with the- Oh my goodness, dude. What is this? Why does that look like that? That's disturbing. Let me get that out of the screen cap. But like the little bridge. I just want to screenshot everything. I literally like... Wow. This is... This is unbelievable. Oh, free fish. Thank you, thank you. I want to take the fish. Thank you. Alright. Fishing pole? <gasps> oh! Can I fish? <clears throat> You must have a fishing rod equipped to use this. Well, let me favorite that. How does one a <laughs> fishing rod and a shield? <laughs> uh, fishing supplies. Or how does one fish? While fishing, press activate to reel in your line. Reeling when there's a strong pull in your line will reel in your catch. Ripples in the surface when casting your line are from nearby fish. If the water is calm when you cast your line. There are no more fish to catch here. Fish will return in a day's time. Okay. There was nothing in your line. What? What do you mean? Hello? What's happening? Okay. Line and Lure by Alan Seabird. My name is Alan Seabird. My fame, or lack thereof, is irrelevant. I'm not going to read like this, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not a writer. As it so happens, my wife gave me this quill when I retired. She called it a gift. To me, it is a burden, but I suppose many teachers feel the same weight. If I were to walk the bridge to Sovngarde, I would take all my knowledge with me. Hard lessons learned from decades fishing the waters of Skyrim. In my life, I have fished in waters open and deep, amid storms no mortal dare brook. I have ventured down bottomless caves and challenged the monsters of the deep with my hook. I have seen them all, and caught them all, be it fish, monster, or boot. With this guide, I will teach you how to do the same. Chapter 1. The Rod just as a warrior needs a sword and a blacksmith a hammer, the first thing any aspiring fisherman needs is a rod. You can find one at a general goods store, or left behind on boats and docks by other fishermen that have come before you. When you obtain one, wield it like you would a weapon, swinging it this way and that. Get a feel for its balance and weight. It must become an extension of your body and mind. Chapter 2 Supplies Once you have a rod, you will next need supplies. This includes bait and other essentials to capture the fish once it's been reeled close to the shore. However, you need not bring your own. It is customary in Skyrim to leave fishing supplies by waters where the fish are plentiful. To find a set of fishing supplies is to be met with a greeting, a hearty hello from one fisherman to another. When you are done, you will leave these supplies for the next fisher. Such is the way. Chapter 3. Casting the Line When you are ready to fish, Bait your hook using the fishing supplies, then cast your line with vigor and allow the hook to sink below the surface. The art of fishing is one of patience and focus. In particular, it requires the concentration of two senses, sight and touch. You might ask, how can one know if there are nearby fish for the taking? It is no different than the way moths are drawn to a flame. When your bait lands on the surface of the water, Nearby fish will excitedly converge. The ripples on the surface will quickly announce their presence. Watch for these ripples carefully. The more the water stirs, the more plentiful the number of fish. In contrast, a quiet surface, when your line hits the water, will tell you there are no more fish to catch, and you must return in a day's time. 
In time, you will learn to tell fish apart based on the tug on your line. You will know the difference between a river Betty's curious nibble and a carp's eager pull. Chapter 4. Reeling it in. When you have hooked your fish, the time for patience and serenity is over. Now come the throes of war. Your fish will thrash as it fights for its life, but you must keep your grip firm and your mind focused as you reel your line and pull in your catch. As so you have reeled in, the fish is yours. Scale it, cook it, and consume it how you pleased. Depending on your custom, there are different rituals to follow, but for all fishermen, a catch is always cause for celebration. Chapter 5. The Rare and Unusual Catch Different fish are native to different climates. If you seek a variety of fish, do not stay in one place. Temperate lakes and streams to the south will hook you a different catch than snow-fringed ponds and pitch-black caverns. When you seek a fish that is seldom caught, the uncommon and rare fish that fishermen brag about until long in their years, your best bet is to fish when the sun is low on the horizon. Dawn and dusk offer the best chance to catch these elusive creatures. If you seek the very rarest of fish, special rods are required. Seek the advice of those in the Riften fishery. Follow their guidance and wisdom just as you have done with me. Of course, not every catch will feed your belly. Some may fill your coin purse, while others have interesting uses to those who brew potions. In my travels, I have even heard tales of dwarven rods used to lure lost trinkets settled at the bottom of ponds and lakes. For what purpose a Nord like myself cannot know. As the world moves on, such things are lost to time. Chapter 6. In conclusion, there you have it. As I stated at the beginning of this journey, I am no writer. What is written here are not words, but a piece of me. It is the callow boy who, in his arrogance, was nearly dragged into the water by a goldfish. It is a shivering fishmonger, sitting on a frozen bucket in the dead of night, praying to kind that he will live to see the sunrise. It is the old man at the lake, drinking a potion of strength, turning back time so he can hook an old foe. It is part of me, and if you heed its message, it will become part of you. These books are so well written, dude. Like, they're just... They're so interesting. Alright, I think I... There were fish around, but like I wasn't waiting for my line to actually be caught onto something. Aha! Really no too early. Great. <laughs> Let me get the hang of this. Okay, a decent amount of fish. Decent amount of fish. Decent amount of fish. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. I got one. <gasps> Ooh, angler acquaintances. Where is that in? Food? Where is it? Miscellaneous? Where's my fish? Where? Where's my fish? Oh, Roofer Betty. Aww. It's cute. Look at it. Why did I eat it raw? Why did I... <laughs> I poisoned. I ate a raw fish. Help. Alright, let's go again. Yeah, I gotcha. I lost my kit. How? Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to hold it or do I just tap it? I'll try just tapping it. Oh? Is that it? Hey, hey, it worked. Uh, you kidding me? I got a lantern. to repeatedly tap it. I, I repeatedly tapped E. And I got a carp for that. Where? Where's the carp? There it is. Oh, Cute. Okay. So the fishing is pretty simplistic. But wait a minute. White run is that way? I thought I was... I thought I was... 
I thought this way was white road. What? This is south? I came from here. You're saying I came from here? Was I... Was I heading this way? Oh, I guess I was heading this way. But wait, how did I... I'm so turned around. I thought I came from this way. Alright, folks. Uh, it's another short-term memory loss moment in action. Let's see. So we have Windhelm and Whiterun that way, as well as Solitude. And Mark Markarth. Riftens off that a ways. So Whiterun this way. Now it seems about right from how my map is pointing at me. What is that sound? What in the world? I think it's just birds in the trees. That, that makes sense. Okay. Give me some mushrooms. Mushrooms? Where's the path to Whiterun? Give me the thistle. I'm a thistle collector. I guess I'll just keep going. Uh, I mean, I mean you no harm, but I'm gonna... Okay, alright. That's... That's fine. You run off. Oh my god, he, he's, he's drowning, he's drowning. Okay, he made it, he made it. Whew. You could... Why would you... Why would you go back? You good, bro? I want this thistle. You good? Okay, he seems a little, um... He seems like he had a little bit too much to drink there. Wow, you just ran headfirst into that tree. Are you okay? Is... Is he okay? Like, for real? He seems broken. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna say he's fine, he doesn't need my help. Uh-oh. I gotta sneeze, so I can mute my mic. There we go, I muted it. Now I don't have to edit that. <laughs> Alright. So, avoid the wolves is what I'm getting. And head towards Whiterun, which is that a -ways. Now, how does one... Oh. Th this a -ways. of course, of course, perfect. Sorry, a little sniffy. I am recovering from being sick. I had a cold or something. Run. Run to white run. I'm white and I'm running. Okay, that wasn't... This map isn't as big as I thought. It's still pretty big for a game that came out 13 years ago, but... Not as big. Also, the stamina bar refills very, very slowly. Maybe I'm just used to Elden Ring. And the way that Souls game stamina refills. This game came out, um... Same year as Dark Souls 1, I think, right? 2011? Or oh, as a dude, I'm gonna put that away. What, what is... It's this this isn't White Run. what is this? Little hut? Can I just... Y'all mind if I... Assassin's Creed. Can I stealth kill? Dun 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 Y'all got nothing in these barrels, dude. Honing brimid! How many? Yes. All the mead. Thank you, thank you. I will take the mead. I don't have a key for that. What is this key that I have? I have a key. Helgen Keep. Did I use that, or do I need to figure out what that's for? Can the FOV be like this all the time, like how it is in the menu? That's a little bit nicer. Maybe it's meant to be like this. I don't want to go breaking in anywhere and risk getting swarmed by the entire Imperial Army. Honey Brew Also, it's nighttime. I'm not going to disturb their night slumber. Good day, sir. Nice to see you. A little tip of the hat. Tip of the fedora. My lady. Uh, bye. 
We have a geyser? Oh, look at the fish. They're doing the thing that fish do. Doing the fish little, like, PNG jump animation. Take a little fish PNG and then track it up a waterfall. Man, look at the... Ugh. Look at the moon! <gasps> Whoa! Starfield foreshadowing? This skybox has to be new with the special edition, right? Like, this was not in the original. Because this looks insane. Wow. Wow, dude. Unbelievable. Hello. Hello, sir. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. I, I was there, yeah. Was here. We'll be ready. You sure? Helgen's I can handle. But this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. I mean... I saw it with my own eyes. It breathed fire in literal inches from my nostrils. What's up, bro? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Is there a request? Because I can round up a group of bandits if you want something. Give you something to do. If you're bored. Just a thought. Alright, I'm not gonna lockpick into anywhere. Uh, I may just take some wheat. Can I... You're not gonna penalize me if I just... Take some of this wheat, right, bro? Right, dude? Give me some wheat. Thank you. Hello. Can I, uh, steal an egg? Thank you. And thank you. All right. Gotta search the barrels. Nothing in the barrels. Those barrels can't even be searched. All right. Let's go talk to the Yarl of Whiterun. How does one... Oh, I was thinking I could climb up that. Never mind. What is the... Ooh, look at the... There's like a shadow there. You can see... Yeah, you can see that. It's like a shadow from the moon. That's that's kind of cool, actually. That looks sick. This game looks really good. I'm not sure how I get into Whiterun. <gasps> what is that? E. What is this? What are you? Why do you have a crunchy bell ring? Nin Nern Nern root, not Nin root. Sorry, Nern root. What in the world? Would that be an ingredient? I wish I could read up on the lore of this stuff, but alas, this is not Elden Ring. Where's the entrance to White Run? Can I see it on the map here? I can't. <sighs> no, I'm assuming this is the entrance. I'm just gonna head there. Pelagia, Pelagia, Pelagia farm. I thought there were some conversations over here. What's well, going on? That's taken care of. No thanks to you. I just showed up here. What's the? You. What? What am I? Ma'am, I just hiked over here. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why am I? I'm just a dude on the road. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity there was to take a... on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield, brother. Ma'am, I assure you, if there was a giant, I would have tried to kill it. I don't know what you're talking about. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? Yep, I have amnesia or something. Warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Ah, bounty hunters. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. Okay. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him... Uh, I think my worth is pretty worth... Yo, there's a giant... A whole giant. Arrows biting the curb in 4K. What do you got on you? Two arrows. That's it. Dude has nothing. Give me some of your... Potatoes, actually. They're gonna get mad at me for literally nothing. How was I supposed to know that you were fighting a giant right here? 
if you had called over to me and been like, help me, help me fight the giant, please, maybe I would have helped, but you didn't. In fact, I heard nothing, and I had to listen for the faint murmur of voices and be like, oh, I wonder if someone's over there. And then I get reamed out for not helping them. I did literally- Cabbages? <gasps> I almost passed this up. I can't believe I almost passed this up. Give me these cabbages, dude. I am going to stockpile these wherever. Can you, can you like, can you get a house? Can you like have a home? I'm gonna have just a room full of cabbages. Ooh, wait, can I get a horse? White run stables. Hello, horsey, horsey, hello. Barrel, 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 some apples. What is this, the branching pony? Python stables. Okay, so I'll come back here when it's daytime, which it looks like it almost is. Is there a way I can see the... Ah, uh, 4.25 a.m. 18th of last seed, Morndas. 4.20, what in the world is this? Am I going to get a book that's going to explain how time works? Hello, Khajiit. Risad. Perhaps you have encountered Madran or Akari. Both are sworn nope. to me. And both have worthy goods to offer. Oh, what do you got for sale? Barter. Items above the divider line belong to the vendor. Items below the line belong to you. To buy or sell an item, select it and press E. Okay, what do you got? Uh, literally nothing worth buying. Literally nothing that worth it, really. <gasps> it's that helmet. It's the, it's the cover helmet. You can get it right away. It's one hundred and eighty-two dollars. I'm not spending that. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. No, thank you. Cool though, but I'd rather steal it somewhere. Potions, food, ingredients, books. Goodness, that's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. Ugh. Fishing map. You know what? I'll buy some fishing maps. Heretical thoughts, saints and species, blessings of Sheogorath. Okay, I'm going to buy- I bought these books. I'm not, however, going to read them all right now. I'm going to read them, like, over time. We will get there. I've heard you've been running into trouble along the road. Actually, I haven't, but I guess I have, according to the dialogue. It is all in this note. Besides note on book. Okay. I'm curious about your homeland. A read hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on Cringe. the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening waters of the sea. That's cool. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities Sounds so nice. ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. That sounds pretty cool. Why sell your goods in Skyrim? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. That's why I asked, my dude. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away. But for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Cool. Okay. May your road lead you to warm sands. That'd be fun to see one day. Um. Wish you could see like a. Wish you could see like a, a recent. Here we go. Resides note on bandit attacks. The roads have been. Can this text move? The roads have been unkind to this one, plagued by outlaws along the route from right run, White Run to Markarth. <clears throat> Guards travel with Resad, yes, but they are ill-equipped to deal with ones such, such as this. They wield strange golden weapons and wear gleaming armor. Resad has read of such things only in stories. Their encampment is found just west of northern Britoshin Pass. Each time they set upon us, they shout, The saints would like to browse your wares today. The brutes steal mostly trinkets and oddities, no matter how cheap this one knows them to be. 
Then they allow Rhysad to go on his way. Rhysad has not yet fought back. While it has harmed this one's coin purse, it is not worth a life. Rhysad has heard of another gang patrolling the roads further north, calling themselves the Seducers. They are known for their menacing dark armor. Skyrim grows more perilous by the day. They are known to camp along the road west of Fort Kastav. This woman would pay handsomely to any who would help. Rhysad fears for any who might come to harm at the hands of the, these worrisome pests. Okay. So, I have to take out those dudes. How do I view... Like, do I have, like, a quest log? Oh, here we go. Journal. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, that's not what I wanted either. Go back. Journal. What? How do I... Oh, quests. Here we go. <clears throat> In Rhysad's note, he details that he's been attacked by bandit gangs calling themselves the Saints and Seducers wielding strange weapons and armor. Okay. He noted the location where they were each last seen along his route. Rhysad is offering a reward for defeating these new bands of thugs. All right. Fair enough. Anger, angler acquaintances visit the Riften Fishery to become more... Oh, yeah. I, I, I read that. I should visit the Riften Fishery and speak to those who work there. In particular, Viria and swims in deep water are rumored to be highly knowledgeable. And this is what I'm doing. Hadvar's uncle asked me to take word to the Jarl of White Run of the Dragon attack on Helgen, and to ask the Jarl to send soldiers to protect Riverwood. Yeah, I just got a random quest to join the Imperial Legion for some reason. I don't know where that came from. Alrighty. Interesting. Who are you? Yes. Marandrujo? This one needs something. Oh, you are the one who probably... No, you didn't write the note. Do you just refer to this one as, like, as like, like other people? May your bed be warm, and your food sweet. Thank you. Um, why are you guys outside of the city? Are they racist? They don't like your kind. Look, when you all talk at once, I don't know what anybody's saying. I'm leaving. Gonna make me racist too. I'm kidding. Obviously, I would hope so. It would be obvious. All right. White Run looks pretty um, brick to me. Oh, because of the white running water. Ah, that makes sense. Because you walk in and there's immediately some white running water. There you go. Some great river rapids. How goes things? I'm here to see the Arl to discuss uh, their the dragon. Apparently, they're not usually seen in these parts. Oh, look at, the, look at the light. Look at the way the light shines down through the... Oh, that's so cool. Interesting. Does the river just run through the city? I like that. And then they called it White Run. That's a really cool naming convention makes it aha uh -huh. who are you halt city's closed with the dragons about official business only that's why i'm here dude <clears throat> uh i have news from helgen about the dragon attack fine but we'll be keeping an eye on you look look this is my first playthrough i mean no trouble dude no trouble whatsoever i'm just Simply here to see things. White run discovered. Hi. No lollygagging. Keep your hands to yourself. This count as lollygagging? Are you getting mad? Are you getting mad? Disrespect the law and you disrespect Are you mad? me. Disrespect your mother. Okay, goodbye. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane? I don't care about your help. I mean, you're you're. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric Stormcloak. Ulfric, hey, I know him. Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. I don't think that's something I want to be I shouting know. around these parts, but I'll take okay. The job, but don't ah, the Drunken Huntsman. This is what Michael was mentioning in his book. What else we got? This music slaps, bro. This music is so good, dude. The strings. This is so beautiful. Da, 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 da. What is this? Oh, blacksmith. 
Hello, madam. That's Are you perhaps... Oh, you're the... She's the one with the husband who you don't want to mess with. Okay, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Of course, the first woman I see is the one who's married. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway. <laughs> I don't want to mess with her. <laughs> Where is the yard? I'm just picking flowers and I'm listening to this gorgeous music. Oh, this music is so good, dude. I'm literally like... About to go insane. Jump for it! La -da 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 -da. Who are you? What is that get up? Work. It might suit you. you seem to have a shadow problem. Oh, there we go. Okay. Weird. The shadows are. Yeah, the shadows. Look at that. Like, they get really dark when you're in front of. Sorry. I didn't realize there were collision physics. I'm going to go head up with the Yarl. Uh, how much for a leak? Nobody's here. It's free. This guy's watching. This guy, <laughs> this guy knows what I'm up to. <laughs> Hi. I mean, no harm. Staying safe. I hope. Absolutely, absolutely. I had zero thoughts of robbing these stands at all. I don't know what that is. That looks like a fun place to grab a drink. What's this? Oh, that's the battered mare I was hearing about. Let me just check this out. What's in here? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Huh, there's Hulda. Maybe some other time. Hello, Hulda. Destiny. Hmm? Tea leaves, pop. Now she kind of ugly. Christmas oh, you got the. Time. What's up, Sinmir? You have the helmet. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. I don't know. This dude outside is guarding the the, the stalls. That the seems pretty. Are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Talking, dude. Mom? I'm talking. We're running low on the Blackbriar mead. In a couple of days, I'll have you make a Michael? run to fetch some more. Michael. Certainly. I, I read your book. Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail it's him. God. Mikhail. It's... It's him. He's a celebrity. Dude, I read your whole book. There's a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Ooh. Song, lute playing, poetry. That's where I want to go. I studied there myself. Had I'm a music dude. A misunderstanding with a headmistress. Misunderstanding with her husband. Classic Mikhail. Classic Mikhail. Investigate the Bard's College. I will do that. What are you doing around here? Bard. Trained at the Bard's College in solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. I definitely want to. That sounds like a ton of fun. Can I make a request? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you sign my book? Ooh, can you sing Ragnar the Red? Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. Yay! I, I tried to clap my my stupid things in the way. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorikstead. And the braggart I'm trying to sit. Can I sit? As he told of bold battles in gold he had made. I, I want to sit and listen, but I can't. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. I love this game so much already. Oh. You want a drink? <laughs> What's on the menu? Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Mm, I think I'm just just thirsty. What do you got for me? That's that's too much to think about. No, thank you. Now, please, no more questions. Oh, it's you talking to me? Why are you facing me like? Why? What's up, Sinmir? The security and white. Yeah, yeah, terrible. you said that. Shameful is what it is. Can ever? Would you? Where'd you get that helmet? Like, for cheap? For less Not than like two hundred dollars? Lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. What's up, Lula? Enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the into Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Is this is no, that's not Isolda. Heard any rumors I lately? Assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big nope. tree all burnt up nope. in the middle of the wind district. I wasn't particularly it's looking for one. Of People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. I don't know who Danica is. <laughs> Talk to Danica about the guild. Need anything else? Just let me know. Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. Hmm? 
tea leaves, palm reading. I'm I'm out of here. Sorry, I can't spend another second in here. I just got like dabbed on by a grandma. I think it's time we go see the Jarl. I ain't done nothing. I never said you did. Good lord, everyone's so hostile. Oh, is this the tree? A few seconds for my supper is all I ask. This must be the tree. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Incredible. This game is so gorgeous. Who are you? Oh, you're Danica. Oh, that was happenstance. Shame, isn't it? I heard something happened in the tree at the temple. Is this not the this is not the tree though? The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. What's so special about this tree? The east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. So it has to be... It has to be this tree, right? Any way to revive it? That. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. Interesting. You, could the gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Okay. Where is the tree? If you want to help, you'll need something to cut into it first. Mm -hmm. to deal with the hag ravens. I've heard about hag the ravens. they for sacrificing spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Oh. I'm a warrior, I'll get it for you, sure. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. No clue where that is, but I'll find it. Okay. Uh, did you need to do that? Jeez. Oh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. Dude, you're, you're walking into me. Watch where you're going. God. All right. That's fine. Give me flower. I steal flower. Flower, 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 flower. Me, 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 That's what you sound like. Shut up. Where's the Jarl? Probably there. Okay, I don't have time for family drama. I'm leaving. Ah! Oh! Hang on. Hang on. Hold up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. That's so beautiful with the sun coming up over the mountain. And these guards are everywhere. Look at the water. Can I jump in? <laughs> just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Nye, nye. This game is so beautiful. Look at the sun coming up. Ugh. Y'all. I have something for you. Don't look at me. I'm here on business. Goodbye. I have to talk to the Y'all. About important matters that do not involve you, sir. <gasps> oh, the atmosphere, dude. You step foot in here and it just... This is a hall of kings, bro. Who are you? Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Jarl. And don't you forget. Okay, never mind. I won't talk to you then. Who are you? I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duties as seriously as the What's going on with your broom? Takes his. Okay, see you, Granny. I gotta... Oh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait. Wait, why are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? Balgruff, okay. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, 
explains why the guards let you in. Come yeah. on, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Should hope so. I'm a very important person, Nelly. Was the dumbest joke I ever made in my life. Can I? There's no fire damage. Crazy. What's up, Jarl Balgruf? Hello, sir. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes. Yeah, it was big and black, and it breathed fire. <clears throat> yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. I don't know what I did, but seriously, but my whatever. Who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Um. Should I tell him about Ulfric Stormcloak? Hmm. Huh. Sure. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Provenzus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? I wouldn't. This looks like wood. Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The dragon is lurking in the mountain. This is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side Udalith? and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Good man, Bograth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. You, I should look at that. Is yes, that, that an elf? If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. Yeah, you go duty That's and we'll best. talk business. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. I mean, there was a service. massive quest marker by I my head, but sure. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Set an imperial armor. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Depends. Come, What's the reward? Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been a looking wizard. into matter related to these dragons I'm on board. and rumors of dragons. I want to listen to. Wizards and learn some magic. What kid is complaining over there? You hear that? I want to tell father you said that. Bro, these little brats, I don't have time for this. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. That's a lot of... Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Um, the Jarl said you had a project you need help with. Ah, indeed? The Jarl? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research... Why does he look like E.T.? What is this? Yes. What's I happening here? someone to fetch something for me. Uh, well, fetch quest. I'm your man. I fetch... I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Bruh. <sighs> Alright, where am I going? What am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. I'm gonna end up doing it anyway. To your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a stone my business. tablet said to be housed in Bleak <laughs> Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Interesting. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Yeah, that is, unless I get jumped by a bunch of, bunch of spiders or something. Uh, anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? Tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. Hey, I'm I've sure got some friends the there. The right Dorothy, direction. do you know her? You She's like six. How do you know this stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, must preserve How some do you know? Secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf, one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Cool. Uh, 
now you're the only wizard in Whiterun. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure no. Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Well, if you put it that way, then sure. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Gee, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Where can I learn more about magic? A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Is that in solitude? Um... Do you owe allegiance to the Imperials? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? No. Probably not. As long as I'm left alone... Well, you size me up correctly. I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. This is a priority. Okay, fine. Anything we fine, can whatever. Please. Gosh, what's your problem, quickly, dude? Before it's too late. That's cool. Of course, y'all about roof. That's a big crown there, dude. I'm sure he will prove most useful. I'll do whatever you ask me to, dude, as long as you pay me. I literally don't care what you think of me. Amazing. Will do. Oh, oh I, I didn't even, I didn't even notice. I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. Boy, if you don't shut your Oh, I thought you were minding your own business. Stupid, what in the world is this? Arcane enchanter to enchant an item. You must know an enchantment and have filled the soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are learned by disenchanting, destroying enchant items. Okay, I have no clue how to do any of that. Alchemy lab. What in the world? This game is so deep. You can create potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients to share a common effect. Experiment with different ingredients to learn their effects. Okay. I can't... Yeah, quit alchemy. I can't do anything right now. I do not have anything to be able to do that will i get like a house with a storage chest petty soul gem that looks beautiful actually okay i think i'm gonna end this first episode here i think this is a good stopping point i've made it to white run i've got my quest i'm about to go find a dragon stone i've got a beautiful view of the city. I think that's a good ending. Where am I headed? I can't see. Ah, here. By Riverwood. Awesome. Perfect. Maybe I'll make a stop in and say hi to my friends there on my way back. All right. Well, <laughs> dude, I am loving this game. Everything about this is so incredible. It's more Norse than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more like traditional medieval, but it's like kind of a mix of that and Norse stuff. There's a lot of like Norse mythology things and like the architecture and some of the names and like other things like that. And I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of interesting. But overall, I adore this. This is so cool. Are you seeing this? Do you th th that thing is floating right there. Excuse me? Is that... Is this... Is this floating? No, okay. It just moved and it looks like it was floating. Sorry. Why are you... What are you high there for, Lucia? Here, have a gold piece. Why are you leaning back like that, girl? Bye. Okay. Anyway, I didn't mean to... Give a coin to a child, but I'm feeling generous today. Alright. And anyway... That's the end of this first episode. I love everything about this. The music is perfect. The art direction is incredible. Way more interesting in that department than I thought. I don't know why I thought it would be less boring than I did, but I did. Uh, there's still some things that I'm trying to figure out. For example, like, how do I carry all this stuff? Like, do I have a... Will I get a house that I can put things in? Can I get a horse? I, that's all stuff to figure out next time. But... Man, I don't think I'm ever going to fast travel in this game. I'm just going to like walk places just to see the scenery because I am loving this. So.
so <laughs> wow all right if you enjoyed this first episode and you want to see more leave a like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff thank you for watching and i will see you all in episode two of my very first playthrough of skyrim i'm loving this so far thanks for your support and i'll see you on the next video Bye bye